Nyeri is in mourning. The passing on of its governor still has residents here conferring in low tones, but inside the county government, the whispers are getting louder. The death of the governor has effectively rendered his entire cabinet, save for his deputy, jobless. Nyeri is in transition. A day after the news of the passing of its governor, his number two has per as the law filled his shoes, but he is yet to officially take over office. The county assembly of Nyeri is soon expected to swear in Samuel Wamadai, whose stint deputizing Gashagwa has now earned him the governor's seat. We are still waiting for him to be sworn in so that he can take charge of the county. That is why it is urgent. That is why it is important. Now all eyes are on the soon-to-be-sworn-in governor for possible lifeline for the county executive members who are now jobless thanks to Article 179.7 of the Constitution. At the Gashagwa family home, plans are underway to send off the husband, son, father, brother and friend whose lights are dimmed at 64 years of age after battling cancer for a long while. Messages of condolence continue to trickle in as the family works on flying his body back home from London. It's likely to, uh, to come on Wednesday, maybe latest Thursday next week. Plans to hold a funeral service in Nairobi next week are also on. Jackie Maribe, Citizen Weekend.